what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video in today's video i want to talk about what is new with the ios 26 beta 2 over here i installed the beta 2 on my this device there is the beta 1 i will be comparing everything that is new in the beta 2 so without any further delay let's dive into this video and first thing first um the thing that was like everyone was talking about that was the control center um that is fixed now as you can see this is a new control center blur on the other hand you can see the difference there is a big 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 difference over here as you can see the blur is increased in the iOS 26 beta 2 which is a very nice thing small little change but a very useful change also if you see the icons let me like tap and hold over here if you see this one over here and save one over here the shade is a bit different as you can see so yeah the fix is now it is like easy to read and all that which is a very nice thing so that's a good thing Every, like internet was broke when this work came out um two weeks ago but now they fixed it and now it makes more sense also when you go into the um your spotted over here you can see the spotlight on beta 1 this is the beta 1 and this is the beta 2 the spotlight search bar as uh, like liquid glass elements that looks really really nice also they improved the keyboard um curves on the iphone 16 it were very bad in the beta 1 but now they are improved which is also a really good thing also when you tap and hold and get to the add button over here and go to the customize now it is properly curved according to your device as you can see this was i was talking about for a long while people were saying no it is right you are like talking sh wrong but there was an issue and now it is fixed as you can see so yeah the curves are fixed on the iphone 16 that is also a real good thing i really really wanted this to be fixed because it was really really annoying also when you get into the settings now there is a new ringtone um, when you are into the ringtone, you will see this arrow over here. Tap on this and you will get a new ringtone. You can set this ringtone. You know, it is totally your choice if you like this one or not. But I liked it. I enjoyed it. So this is my default one. Also, the stock wallpapers for different iPhones are back. They are back for the iPhone 16, basically. They were gone and now they are back. There are significant changes in Safari. I want to talk about that but before that i want to talk show you this one now when you you know bring your control center something like this as you can see and now when you you know take this away as you can see let me do this again when you do this battery sometimes battery goes up and come back uh, over here if you see the battery over here it is like way smoother now it goes up over here way smoother that is also improved as you can see so yeah that is also a nice change many people are saying there is there are difference between the notifications um i don't see any i don't feel felt any you know difference in notifications um but people are saying there is slight different in ui of the notifications um but i haven't you know feel that yet um if i you know like felt like there is a difference i will share that again but these are small small changes also when you get into the safari here are a lot of changes being very honest so just let me get into the safari over here um let me get to any tab maybe this one this is the home tab for the both one over here okay so this is the beta 2 this is the beta 1 now as you can see from the beta 2 the, uh, uh, the back button is removed this is a nice thing like on home screen back button don't make any sort of sense so it is removed which is a good thing also when you get to the any website maybe i go over here and on the same device or not non same device i go on the same website i am over here now you can see the arrow button is dark over here as you can see the arrow button is dark but over here it is not dark it is like unselected kind of a thing and when i go get into any website like if i go to any website over here now it is dark as you can see and now it is same but when i go back from here let me go back from here it is same but now there is like back button and the next button over here as you can see so yeah this is another change also when you tap on these dots over here there is a change in menu 
Now share add bookmark and add bookmark to are in a bigger form. Then there is new tab, another one, and this one you can see. So this is in over here, so the menu is slightly big, and this is another change. Also, when you get to over here, now as you can see, the tab is small over here. 23 is up. You know, this is quite small, makes more sense. There is a plus button to add another tab. There is no plus button. Plus button was on top. As you can see, there were three buttons basically on top. And now there is one button on top with a beta 2. And it also show your profile. And if you tap on this, all the details are over here, which were over here, which were like divided into different sections. Now they are into a single tab. So yeah, Safari is like way improved with the iOS 26 beta 2. I really like the changes in the Safari. They now make way more sense than before. So yeah, these are some significant changes that I have noticed so far. Let's see what people are talking about. Is there any other thing to talk about that? iOS 26 add a recovery assistant to phone. Okay, so I don't know what is that is being very honest, but you know, I want to test that out that what recovery agent is. Just great playing with the ringtone volume slider. Okay, so I think there is like this glass element in now there. So let me check that if there it is. Okay, yes, there it is. This is the new ringtone, by the way. So let me see if it was there on the um beta one. I think it was not on the beta one. And I am in the beta one. So on the haptics. No, it was there in beta one. So yeah, this is not a change. With a beta 2, it was there with a beta 1. Parallax effect has been added to iOS 26 wallpaper. Okay, that is um nice. I'm going to test that out too. Let me actually do that. Let's go over here. I don't have like my diff iOS 26 wallpaper, I guess. This is, okay, this is over here. And if I go customize this one over here. Um, I don't see any option. Deep effect off. Deep effect on. I'm not seeing any parallel effect option. Maybe it is on a pro model. I don't see that. But yeah, these are some of the changes that are out with the hours. Um, 26 beta 2. Um, being very honest, it seems these are small changes, but they are useful changes. I know more features definitely will coming out. These are, this is something that I'm able to find out for now. I'm definitely going to dig into the device even more and see what are the more changes there. Uh, so I'm going to share those changes with you guys too in upcoming videos. So yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, I will try to do testing. Being very honest, I'm going to run the Geekbench, you know, over here. Still, there is iOS 19. They also need to fix this one over here. So I'm going to run the Geekbench and see if the scores are approved or not. So yeah, that's all. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Peace out.